what is the output we are going to get so mobile number is this and telecom circle so it belongs to delhi it is ideas mobile service type signal is gsm and connection status is live and active in this lecture we are going to define a simple python code with which we can trace uh, any mobile numbers location okay now uh, see first thing that you need to do is you need to install two packages which you which we will be requiring for tracing the mobile number so the name of the first package is um, it is beautiful soup which you have to install and you know that's how you can install it by passing this simple command you can install it on your respective device fine and if the package is already there so this is what you are going to see on your terminal when you'll fire this command requirement already satisfied fine now let's install the second package which we require for tracing the mobile numbers location so it is machinize okay this is the name of the second package which we require so it is already it is also already there on our device so that is the reason requirement already satisfied this message is getting reflected over here now let's come on this python idle platform which we will we will be using for defining the python code and here uh, with the same we will be tracing the location of my mobile number okay so first of all i am going to import this library that is beautiful soup okay from bs4 import beautiful soup so this is a simple line of command which you can which you guys can make use of for you know importing this beautiful soups library now the second one is machinize so this you guys can make use of for importing machinize library import machinize now we need to initialize the machinize browser object so for doing that this is a simple line of code which you guys can make use of mc is a variable and this is a code with which you can initialize the browser machinize browser fine once you're done with that you need to set the handle to false and this is a line of code with which you can do the same and finally you need to access okay finally you need to access that website which is going to help us in tracing the mobile's location so i am making use of find and trace dot com okay and i have this is the url address of that uh, web page which i am going to make use of for tracing the mobile number and this whole address i am assigning it to a particular to a, to this variable url okay and now in order to open the connection we can make use of this simple code mc dot open url so this is going to open for us the connection uh, you know for this uh, find and trace dot com website fine so this is what you'll get to see buffer reader name 532 and you know now we'll be able to get fetch the response from this find and trace dot com website okay now uh, next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to select the form which i need to enter the mobile number and submit the values to the form so you know machinize is the uh, you know what we call it library which helps us with forms submission and clicks so i have al i'm already done with importing this library now what i need to do i need to select the form which i need to enter the mobile number so for that i will be using this uh, mc variable again mc dot select underscore form so this is going to help me in selecting the form and now here i'm going to enter my phone number so this is the uh, you know object where i'm going to enter my phone number so this is a phone number which i will be tracing the location of fine 
and then I need to read the response so for that we can fire this command mc.submit so it is going to submit the form and then it is going to help us in reading the response also and finally whatever the response will be it will get saved in this variable res okay now uh, after this I need to initialize the soup object and pass res object parser fine so for this I need to pass a parser okay and I need to initialize the soup object for this variable also so for doing that I can there is a sim, there are two lines of code which you guys can make use of this is the code with which you can uh, initialize the soup object beautiful soup and after that res is the name of the variable uh, which I have made use of over here and this is a parser html.parser okay and now we are going to uh, make use of this line of code for fetching the table values okay and everything is going to get stored in this variable tbl fine so uh, now what are we done with we are done with initializing the soup object and passing the rest object and parser now when we can submit the phone number when we submit the phone number sorry to the form it will get the details from the server and show the details of a mobile number in the form of a table so this is the table you know in the form of which we will get the output and we are storing this in this variable tbl so the function called soup dot find underscore all which we guys can make use of to catch the table fine and that's what I have made use of over here for catching the details of this table finally you now we have two tables with the same class so we took the first table by its index now this is the code where we are going to fetch the work on the table sorry uh, c is equal to 0 another variable I have made use of and this is the for loop which is going to help me finding the location of my mobile number so I use c or you can say counter variable to avoid unnecessary data in the table here now when you execute the above script now when you will execute this loop which I have defined over here okay so this is a counter variable I have made use of uh, this is the uh, variable which is going to fetch for us the details from the table based on the index based on this index and uh, there is an if loop which I have made use of over here if c in 1 4 6 8 so if the value of c is in this list so it is going to continue executing these two lines of code and then it will print uh, for us the output finally now let's hit the enter button and check out what is the output we are going to get so mobile number is this and telecom circle so it belongs to Delhi it is ideas mobile service type signal is GSM and connection status is live and active okay so that's how you can trace a mobile number using this simple beautiful Python code okay and you know if you want to trace any other mobile number the only thing that you require is you just need to change the value over here just replace this number with any other mobile number the about location of which you want to trace and you will get to see the location something you know you'll get to see an output somewhat like this finally when you will execute these lines of course I hope you guys enjoyed this lecture a lot like and subscribe my channel and share this video in your groups so that more and more students can join in and learn uh, coding free of cost on my channel if you want to avail coding classes facility then you guys are most welcome to contact me on my phone number 9891665634.
for availing the coding classes facility. Thank you very much. God bless you all and Namaste.